Hello, hello, Ederson Oliver here. This is another DNA 9 video review and today we will be focusing on manage users. So let's just have a look at that and I'm logged in as super user here. So if I go to manage users, I will see the view that comes up very quickly, the users view. This is a fresh new DNA 9 build 732. Of course, there are no users in the system yet in the site yet. I'm gonna add a new user here. When I click add new user, you see right away the add new user view shows up. So no refresh, no delays. Right there, you can see that the page just extended itself and show up the user fields. So let's fill this out. Once it's all filled out, I can click here where it says send an email to the new user to let the new user know that a new account was created or not. So I can just click save or click cancel. I'm just gonna hit save. And the options that show up here are the same options that you can find on a DNA 8 under admin user accounts. So let's just have a look here, click on save. See very fast, very quickly, you see the loading bar at the top you see, you don't see a refresh on the page, but you see the new user created right there. And at the end of the line of that user, you can see a few icons, like the first one, manage user roles, so I can set the roles for this user. I can see the details of this user. It, it shows up underneath, and I can see the settings of this user. So I think that this one here are the extended properties, and this one over here are the basic properties of that user, which used to be, you know, it, it's pretty much the same data that shows up. It's actually exactly the same data that shows up on a DNA 8 or 7 website. And what is this here? Okay, so we have a few actions that we can perform on this user. View profile, change password, force. Again, the same, the same options that we new already from DNN 8 and DNN 7. Delete user, make super user. Now, I can cancel this. It collapsed in, in, as you can see, a little animation there. Now, what do we have at the top? We have show all, or we can see unauthorized users in case we are allowing users to register the site and they come in as unauthorized ones. We have, we can see super users actually that's that's interesting. That's actually that's new. From the same view, you can see super users as well. You can see. Remember that on DNA eight, DNA seven, you had admin user accounts for regular users, and then we have host, advanced settings, and then super user accounts to see the super users of the website. Here on the same interface, you can see both of them. Of course. The only reason why I can see super users here as well is because I am a super user myself. If I was just an admin user or had less access, I would not be able to see super users option right here. Uh, the other thing that we can see, and I'll go back to all, we can search for users and I can just type in here, let's say test, and of course there is nothing there, but if I try Ederson, and if I misspell here, you see it, as you type in, it will start to filter the users that match that condition. Now, keep in mind that this search is based on name, last name, email address, but it's based on the beginning of the name of the user. Let's say if I put my name as, you know, I forgot to put the A there, then if I put the A, it will come up. Now, let's have a quick look at the, the roles of this particular user. If I click there, as you can see as well, it just expands down and you see the roles that this user belongs to. And you can also add a new role to this user. You can start typing in, let's say admin, and it shows up here. I can select and I can click add. I can keep send email checked so the user gets a notification. I'm gonna uncheck this and click add. Now I turn this user into an administrator as well. That is pretty much it for this video. This is just a quick introduction on the new user's view on DNN9. And yeah, talk to you on the next video review. Bye.